Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can set up our phone to serve as a wireless webcam using a Android slash iPhone application called IP Webcam. So there's going to be two parts of this tutorial. The first where we kind of switch into the Android app, and I'll show you how to set things up there. And the second part where we will configure things inside of Open Broadcaster software so that they tie into the browser. Okay, so this is the part of the IP webcam tutorial where we configure IP webcam on our Android or other mobile device. So here there's a couple settings we're probably going to need to take care of before we actually start the streaming server at the very bottom of the app. So first I wanna go into video preferences. Uh, when you're actually streaming the video to your computer, if you do it at the full resolution of your camera, like if I go up here and I did it at 1920 by 1080, not only would that be grossly overkill, but it actually tends to slow things down a bit. Um, the more data streaming, the less well it's gonna work in the browser. So really, if you're just doing a webcam to have like a little um, basically talking head in the corner of your video, you can drop it down to 800 by 600 or at least 1280 by 720 seems to work fine. Um, obviously, the power of your machines, it may vary a bit, but uh, I personally am knocking it down to 800 by 600. Next up, in the main tab, you can scroll down and there will be something called audio mode. If you want to capture your audio from another application or maybe just a professional studio grade microphone in your room, uh, you can turn off audio mode here so that you don't bother sending any of that data to the browser on your computer. So by default, it'll say enabled here. I have that set to disabled, specifically because I'm using an application called Womic, uh, which I'll link to another video on how to get that set up if you wanna use your phone as a microphone as well, um, so that that Womic can be used as a microphone input in OBS rather than using IP webcam as a desktop audio input. Um, basically what I mean is that IP webcam, when the audio comes in in the browser, that's going through your speakers, not your microphone. So if you need to add filters to the microphone, it's better to use an app like Womic instead. <laughs> so once you've done those two things, um, I mean, you can play around with other things, like maybe you go to effects and uh, toggle on night vision if it's kind of dark there, but really, at least at a basic level of getting it working, you just go down to the bottom and hit start server. You can play around with the settings to get it to be a little bit uh, nicer if for some reason you're having some quality issues, but uh, this is the bare minimum you need to do. So at the bottom of the app now, depending on if you're portrait or uh, landscape mode, it's going to say an IP address. So here for me it's saying 192.168.100.3 on port 8080. So you need to copy that web address into your browser and then it'll give you a web interface for playing the video back in your browser so that you can use it as an input source in OBS. So now I'm going to turn it over to the computer part of this tutorial and we'll get everything set up. So once you have your video streaming inside of uh, your IP webcam app, there's going to be an IP address at the bottom. It's going to say something like 192.168.100.3 and then colon, most likely, port 8080. So what you need to do is you need to post that exact web address into your browser up here. And it's gonna give you this web page basically. So your phone is also serving as like a web page server. And once you've done that, you can come in here and turn on browser video renderer. Uh, there's also a lot of different settings you can play around with. Um, but here we have uh, basically the webcam running exactly as it was in the background. I don't want to move this actually because using this exact strategy of the browser webcam uh, and browser as a video source, or the window capture rather, uh, if you move this around it might cause some issues. So we'll just play around here. Um, you want to change your video render onto browser. Flash also works. The reason we don't uh, actually enable audio player, you can if you want to, but the audio gets picked up as a desktop audio source. So you can see here I'm trying to capture my audio as a mic input. Um, so as I was talking about in my previous video using your phone as a microphone, I like to use a tool called Womic um, in order to do that. Um, and as I previously mentioned, 
if you want to be able to use Womack at the same time as uh, IP webcam, where you use IP webcam as video, you just go into the settings and you turn off audio capture for IP webcam. And then you'll be able to do Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on Womack. So anyway, once you have those set up, where you actually are getting uh, video input here um, for your IP webcam, you just need to basically add it in as a window capture source. So I'm gonna right click here, add window capture. And then we uh, basically select this browser. We can move this up a bit. Okay, I'm actually going to scale this down. So in my actual capture, it's gonna look a little weird, but hopefully for this, it'll fit. So now that we can actually target this web page, I'm gonna hit okay. And what we need to do here is just crop off all the sides so that uh, just the video is actually showing on our OBS stream. So what I'm gonna do is left click on the source and I'm going to alt left click on these circle corners. So I'm gonna drag this down and I'm gonna crop off that top part. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. So I'm actually going towards the middle parts, uh, not the corners, because I only want to adjust one side at a time. And once you have all sides cropped, you can basically move this around as your webcam capture. You can scale it down by left clicking on the corner and dragging it inward. And then you just need to put whatever else you need uh, in the background. If you have a green screen, you can chroma key it out. Um, if you have a game to put in as another source, go for it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, phone working as a decent webcam alternative, as well as a microphone. So pretty cool. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.